Welcome to today's in-depth discussion on navigating the intricate and often challenging dynamics of co-parenting with a narcissist. When cutting ties isn't an option, confronting a narcissist head-on typically leads to more complications rather than solutions. So how does one effectively manage and counteract the manipulative tactics of a narcissist in such a delicate situation? Our focus today will be on a strategic approach I term the five Ds. Deflect, disengage, decline, document, and decide to be your best version possible. 1. Deflect. Mastering the art of deflection is paramount when interacting with a narcissist. This skill is essential for safeguarding yourself against their psychological manipulations. Deflection is more than just ignoring their words, it's about not internalizing them. Recognize that their criticisms and provocations are reflections of their own internal turmoil, not an accurate assessment of you. Visualize a mental shield between you and the narcissist, ensuring that their negative energy is reflected back at them. By remaining unresponsive to their provocations, you effectively starve them of the attention and drama they seek, diminishing their power over you. 2. Disengage. Disengaging involves a conscious withdrawal from the narcissist's provocations. It's about establishing and upholding strong personal boundaries. When the narcissist attempts to encroach upon your emotional or physical space, maintain your composure and respond with calm assertiveness. Utilize neutral responses like, I understand we see things differently, or I will not engage in this conversation. The goal is to extricate yourself from toxic interactions, signaling to the narcissist that their behavior cannot dictate your reactions. 3. Decline. Narcissists often employ tactics such as hoovering or charm offensives to reel you back into their sphere of influence. Declining these overtures is a powerful assertion of your independence and recognition of their manipulative strategies. This step is about fortifying your personal autonomy and clearly communicating that you are no longer a pawn in their psychological game. 4. Document. In the world of a narcissist, gaslighting and altering narratives are common. Protect yourself through meticulous documentation. This involves recording both positive occurrences and the narcissist's adverse behaviors. Such documentation is invaluable in legal contexts and serves as a bulwark against the distortions of reality that gaslighting creates. It helps in preserving an objective account of events, which is crucial in situations where your credibility may be unjustly questioned. 5. Decide to be your best version possible. This final step is a commitment to self-empowerment and emotional resilience. It's about choosing to prioritize your mental and emotional well-being above the narcissist's attempts to undermine it. Cultivating self-love, self-respect, and self-confidence is key. Stand firm in your self-worth and refuse to let the narcissist's demeaning behavior impact your self-perception. Embrace a life of authenticity, integrity, and respect, a life that you truly deserve. Navigating co-parenting with a narcissist is a formidable challenge, but it's important to remember that you possess the strength, courage, and resilience to face this adversity. Utilize these five Ds as a roadmap to steer through the turbulent waters of narcissistic abuse. Stay empowered, resilient, and dedicated to your personal growth and well-being. Thank you for joining today's episode. If you have any questions or would like to share your experiences, please feel free to leave a comment below. Until our next discussion, embrace your journey of healing and personal growth.